what Heidi says. She says, uh, I know these topics are super important to discuss, but I am jonesing for some what's in the box game. What's in the box? <laughs> Can we have a teaser uh, as to when it will be played? All right, all right, all right. I will not continue to torture you. We have Aww, not played thanks. once yet today. Uh, what's in the box brought to you by Tahoe Blue Vodka. $20,000 in prizes. Got to keep track. Keep listening. I promise. We will play sometime before 10 a.m. this morning. There is your teaser. Ah, did you hear the ding yep, I saw the postman come. See? And he brought the load of emails. What a guy. Uh, the website's radradio.com. It's all about the membership website. Yeah, members. In two hours, less than two hours from now. Today is sixth hour day. Uh, okay. We'll stick yeah. around for an extra hour. It'll be commercial free and it will be uncensored. Okay. We have actually an uncensored version of fake news. <laughs> is that where you swap the A with a U? Okay. We have, uh, <laughs> damn it. We have dirty jokes from the maggots. Uh, lots of good dirty jokes from the maggots. Good. We have a philosophical question about sex from a maggot. Uh, we have an interesting sexual fetish that men are into. Oh, my. Uh, speaking of men, we have Wee Wee Mangling as well. Ah, that ah, is the best ah, part of the sick tower. I can't ah, wait. You better that. get to that. Uh, you can email us, rad at uh, radradio.com. First one is from Allie. Hey, Allie. She says, I took my fur child to Dogwoods Resort oh. over the long weekend off on your recommendations, and I could not have been more pleased. Amos had so much fun. Oh, Amos. <laughs> made a ton of friends, and Teresa, who runs Dogwoods, even said she didn't want to give him back. Oh. <laughs> she says that about all the dogs. Oh. It's such a good feeling to know that your animals are being well cared for while away at camp. Amos is currently experiencing what is referred to as the Dogwoods coma, <laughs> and I look forward to his next visit. Yes. So uh, such a sweet thing it is. The uh, Rad Dog Resort in the woods. Uh, Teresa's been taking care of our dogs for more than a decade, oh. and uh, when you get them back, they, they will sleep for many days. Depending on <laughs> how many days they're at Dogwoods, it, it, it's a direct correlation how many days they will lie on their side like dead horses uh, in your That's home. Amazing. It's, it's, the coma is so bad, you often have to get up and make sure they're still breathing. When hey, I, Walter. Uh, I was yep. just going to yeah. say to you, check them. Yeah. <laughs> when I first found uh, Dogwoods, uh, and the first time I brought Shep home, my original German Shepherd, the one I murdered a couple years you ago. You put him down, he had cancer. Um, when I fr- she had warned me. She had warned me. And she was a listener, and we start, we, started, we, we, we hit it off right away, and it was so great to leave the dog there and, and not have to worry and to see, oh, my God, 18 acres. And, oh, but she, she said, she said, look, uh, he, he's, we call it the Dogwoods Coma. And he's going to sleep for a few days. And I did exactly what Brandon was saying. I, I There were a couple times I was convinced Shep was dead. He hadn't moved in hours. I mean, like, moved. And, like, you're looking. At, so you look at his stomach to see if it's going up and down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. He's still That's breathing. Amazing. Uh, so, yeah, we have all their uh, information uh, on our Facebook page and at radradio.com as well. Just amazing. And uh, Teresa's a big maggot. Not fat. Um, and, but, uh, uh, a big part of the show and a huge fan and she loves me and again not fat loves me and other Megan <laughs> she's the best she is and she's not fat uh, uh, it'd be okay if she was right but she's not I'm just because I called her big and I want to be clear right. we know yeah, huge yeah. and big yeah. are usually Dude. fat people uh, next email is from Atticus hi Atticus he says uh, I'm curious about a sound that you use during the what's in the box game what's in the box you know, we haven't found out at all yet today no we haven't we haven't played yet, but we will be Damn playing uh, sometime within the next hour and 49 minutes. Wow. I promise we'll play at least once. Thanks for narrowing it down. Give you a chance. That's the whole point of the game. You must listen. Hello. Uh, it says, uh, when someone guesses a number of a box, there's a noise following that sounds like a very quick game show wheel spin. Well, he's referring to this this sound here. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, I, okay, I, I, I can hear that. I see, I see, I see what he's saying there. Okay, let me let me do a quick comparison here. So, okay, okay. now now here is an actual game show wheel spinning. Okay, <laughs> recorded in the 1920s. Notice how it just spins. Okay, now now listen again to the what's in the box sound. That's actually the sound of the hinge. See, what we're doing, Atticus, is we are opening the box. A oh. big wooden box. And that, right, and, and it's on a hinge, oh. and it's heavy. I always thought what he said. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought, why are we spinning a wheel? Okay, we're not. Whatever. Huh. 
or opening. I don't come up with this stuff. The box oh, so that we rhyme can to the reason? tell you what's under it. And <laughs> oh. That's all. All right. Stop asking well, now questions. Now it sounds like it. Atticus. <laughs>